For more details and free downloads, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash NWN and for full channel listings, suprememastertv.com forward slash worldwide. We thank all the reporters, journalists, photographers, camera persons, individuals, groups, companies everywhere in the world for all your contributions of news that bring hope to humans and animals, thus uplifting the atmosphere of our planet. May heaven bless your noble endeavors and protect you always, especially while on challenging duty. Fortunate and blessed are we to be co-inhabitants with the amazing animals that grace and color our planet. In countless beneficial ways, they add beauty and joy to our lives. Their nobility, through unconditional love, loyalty, and heroic life-saving actions, is a constant source of wonder and inspiration. What would our world be like without our fun and intelligent animal friends? We simply could not imagine it. Thanks be to the Providence for all the cherished animals. May we always honor their God-given precious lives as we honor a part of ourselves. Il giornata e taiba is good day in the Maltese language. I'm Kaylee. How invincible you are in protecting our planet and all beings on it. Heavens and Earth salute you in high respect, and historic Malta offers humble thanks. Greetings, high-thinking viewers. I am Winston. The welcoming people of Antigua and Barbuda send you best wishes from our sincere friendship and are happy to sojourn with you on this wonderful planet. Thank you for your blessed presence and for all you do to help the world become a good place for us and next generations. Welcome to Noteworthy News, visionary news for an advancing world. Visionary news for an enlightening world. Supreme Master Television brings you good news from around our beautiful planet. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Our programs can be viewed online at suprememastertv.com as well as on YouTube and iOS or Android apps. For full channel listings, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash worldwide. To provide better coverage of Supreme Master Television, we are delighted to announce an upgrade to more popular and accessible satellites. Across South and Southeast Asia on ABS2 Southern Beam KU Band, at 75.0 degrees east, and across North Africa and the Middle East on Utelsat 7W Mina Beam KU Band at 7.0 degrees west or Nilesat position. For viewers on Utelsat 70B Wide Beam, please change to one of the above two new satellites by June 1st. Also, we are happy to announce the launch of Supreme Master Television on satellite across East Asia on Appstar 7KU Band at 76.5 degrees east, across Russia and surrounding areas on Yamal 401KU Band at 90 degrees east, and across the Middle East on Yasat 1 East Beam KU Band at 52.5 degrees east. Additionally, Supreme Master Television is available worldwide in more than 232 countries, territories, and regions via Roku Streaming TV and Apple TV, in 111 countries on Amazon Fire TV, in 144 countries via Android-based TV systems. Also on satellite in Sub-Saharan Africa and Europe on Intelsat 20 Kuband at 68.5 degrees east, in the Middle East, North Africa, South Asia, and Europe on Utelsat 70B Wide Beam Kuband at 70.5 degrees east in Central and South Americas as well as Mexico on Hispasat 30W-6 Kuband at 30 degrees west, as well as shortwave radio in Sub-Saharan Africa, Europe, North Africa, and the Middle East on 15770 kHz in South and Central Americas on 5800 kHz in Central and Eastern United States plus Canada, Bermuda, Greenland, and Iceland on 9395 kHz in the Western United States, Western Canada, and Mexico on 5950 kHz and in Central, South, Southeast, and Western Asia on 7570 kHz. 
and on internet radio, Icecast Directory, online radio box, radioguide.fm, radio.net, retro radio for Shoutcast, Shoutcast Directory, and StreamFinder using search Supreme Master TV, as well as on podcast on Acast, Apple Podcasts, Blueberry, Castbox, Google Play Music, Himalaya, iTunes, iVox, Listen Notes, MyTuner Radio, Player FM, Podbean, Podtoppen, Podtail, Pod Paradise, Radio Public, SoundCloud, Spotify, Stitcher, and TuneIn Radio. Supreme Master Television is also available in Belize, in Belize City, Belmopan, Benke, and Cayo District, Channel 239, or Frequency 291 MHz on Central TV and Internet, in Punta Gorda and Stan Creek District, Channel 224 on Southern Cable, and throughout Belize on OmniStream Z via Southern Cable, in Cambodia, Laos, and Thailand on Malimar TV Network. In Cameroon, in Bamenda, Buea, Daula, Kribi, Kumba, Limbe, Tico, and Yaounde on Southwest Communication. In Canada, Faith TV. Please search by postcode at faithtelevision.ca for your local channel listings. And Joy TV on Telus Satellite TV and Bell TV Canada, as well as locally on numerous cable and IPTV networks. Please search by postcode at joytv.ca forward slash channel dash finder for full channel listings. In Chile, in Puente Alto, Santiago, channel frequency 58.1 on Intercable. In the Democratic Republic of the Congo, in Kinshasa, on PSTV. In El Salvador, on DC IPTV. And in San Miguel and Usulatan, on Cablesat. In Guatemala, in Guatemala City, channel 69 on Cable Minerva and Electronica Chilena. And in Barbarena and Zaragoza, channel 58 on Cable Minerva. In Esquipales, channel 110 on Cable Facil Digital. In Guyana, on Airlink Communications. In India, on Airtel, DD Direct, Dish TV, Reliance, and Tata Sky on Sadna TV, as well as Geo and all cable networks. On D-Dish Satellite TV in Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region, Buryatia, Russia, and throughout Mongolia on Channel 211. Plus in Mongolia, Erdenet City, Darkan, and Ulaanbaatar on Univision Cable TV. In Nepal and India, Clear TV, Dish Home, Merrill TV, Sim TV, and Sky TV on Bhakti Darshan TV. In New Zealand on Mainland Television. In Nicaragua on Nika TV. In Panama on Latin Play TV. In Peru, in Ancash on DKR. In Huancayo on Cable Red. In Lima, Cablevisión, Cable Peru Supercable, Servicable, and Cable Lazer on Asiri TV. And in Puno on Televisión Universitaria Cable TV. In Taiwan, also known as Formosa, on Fain TV. In Changhua on Santa Cable TV. In Kaohsiung on Phoenix Cable TV. In Chilong on Prosperity Cable TV. In Pingtung on Guangsheng Digital CATV and Pingnan CATV. In Tainan on Nantian Cable TV. In Taoyuan on North Taoyuan Cable TV. In Taipei on Cable Giant Qingbing Tao, Chuanlian, Da'an, Wenshan, Xin Taipei, Xin Tangshan, and Yangmingshan Cable TV. And in Ilan, Channel 4 on Union Cable TV. In Trinidad and Tobago on Airlink Communications. In the United Kingdom on Connected Freeview. Freesat and Sky on Showcase TV and EETV Box via Vision TV in the United States on Samsung Smart TVs as well as on Public Access TV in Arizona on Cable One in California on Midpen Media Center BCM TV KMVT KOCT CMAP TV Access Sacramento Comcast SF Commons Korea TV and KSAR in New York on Brick TV MNN PATV Long Island QPTV and White Plains PATV in Washington DC on DC TV in New Hampshire on Dairy Cam, in Massachusetts on Brookline Interactive Group. We have multiple more channels which are not listed here due to lack of space and time. Please log on for your choices or and areas as we might also have more new channels anytime. For full channel listings, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash worldwide. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programas ofrecen muchas lenguas. Ven y visite suprememastertv.com barra oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Ta programa tamas prosferon de sepoles gloses para calum medite suprememastertv.com cathedos schedule. Also, be sure to follow us on our socials, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, as well as on Tumblr in multiple languages by searching Supreme Master TV. In today's news, Japan assists displaced people in Iraq. Rwanda benefits from sustainable irrigation project. Belarus encourages use of electric vehicles. Australia invests in green energy advancement. Healthcare retirees in United Kingdom eagerly return to work to help with pandemic. Study finds tofu consumption boosts heart health. And photographer promotes animal adoptions in Taiwan, also known as Formosa. All this and more on Supreme Master Television, your constructive global TV channel. 
Japan supports vulnerable individuals in Iraq. Japan, a shining world leadership awards for compassion, animal protection, and generosity laureate, recently donated 5 million US dollars to the United Nations Refugee Agency, or UNHCR. The contribution will be used to help provide legal assistance, civil documentation, and psychosocial counseling to 2,800 Syrian refugees and as many as 6,000 internally displaced persons. Speaking of the donation, Deputy Representative of the UNHCR in Iraq, Philippa Kendler, said, this assistance shows the strong and unwavering commitment of Japan to address the needs of displaced populations in Iraq as the country works towards stabilization and recovery. Since 2014, Japan has donated 540 million US dollars in similar humanitarian aid to Iraq. Our heartfelt gratitude, Japan, for your generosity. May all individuals and families who were pushed by circumstances to leave their homes be shielded in Allah's merciful love. Rwandan Agricultural Project benefits local farmers. The foundation of Howard G. Buffett, a United States businessman and son of renowned philanthropist Warren Buffett, has joined with the Rwandan government to inaugurate a 54 million U.S. dollar irrigation initiative in the country's eastern district of Kirihi. The National Irrigation Project is part of an ambitious plan to advance Rwanda's agricultural sector through a 500 million U.S. dollar donation made by Howard Buffett in 2017. The endeavor will use solar power to irrigate the lands of 2,099 smallholder farmers. The partners also decided to construct 144 houses for families relocating from prime irrigation areas. Moreover, a new research and extension center will be created with the goal of improving the farmer's food security through enhanced crop growing practices. Congratulations on your friendly collaboration, Howard G. Buffett Foundation and Rwanda. In God's abundant love, may your efforts multiply prosperity and happiness in the lives they touch. Up next, Belarus encourages use of electric vehicles. We'll take a moment to thank the hydroponic farmers who almost magically can produce fresh vegetables in urban settings with minimal land and resources. When we return, more hopeful news ahead here on Supreme Master Television. For more details and free downloads, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash NWN and for full channel listings, suprememastertv.com forward slash worldwide. Hi, joyful friends. I'm Cortez de Quadi Mundi, and I thoroughly enjoy my plant strong lifestyle. Here's a helpful shortcut for switching tasks on a computer without using a mouse. Hold down the ALT key on the keyboard while simultaneously tapping the TAB key to get the window switcher on your screen. Press the TAB key repeatedly until you select the application you want. By releasing the ALT key, your chosen application will appear in the front. If you want the window switcher to launch and remain on the screen even when the keys are released, press CTRL plus ALT plus TAB together. The switcher will only leave the screen when you make a selection. Press the escape key or click on a region outside of the switcher grid. Thank you for your attention and much love for being veg and going green to save the planet. For all humans and us all co-inhabitants, here's the weather around our beautiful globe.
Belarus promotes electric vehicles or EVs. Belarusian President His Excellency Alexander Lukashenko has issued a decree to encourage more electric vehicle purchases and to support the development of EV infrastructure. Incentives for car buyers include exemption from road use fees, tax rebates for imported vehicles, and free parking in designated spots of public parking lots. At the same time, Belarus is amping up the necessary infrastructure for electric cars, with more charging stations and places for after-sales service. By 2030, the country foresees up to 300,000 EVs on its roadways. Bravo, Your Excellency Alexander Lukashenko and Belarus. May you and your future generations reap the many benefits of electric mobility, such as the preservation of the air and human health in heaven's grace. Australia to fund Clean Energy Research Centre, the Australian Government, a Shining World Leadership Award for Compassion recipient, and a Shining World Leadership Awards for High Moral Value and Health Guardian Laureate, would dedicate $45 million U.S. million in funding to establish the Reliable Affordable Clean Energy for 2030 Cooperative Research Center, or CRC. This will allow the energy industry and researchers to work closely together to improve grid stability, increase productivity, and lower costs for households. In addition, adoption of low emissions technology will be accelerated thanks to the project. So far, 184 million U.S. dollars have also been contributed by both researchers and businesses, while partnerships have been formed with about 90 organizations and several state governments. A commendable move, Australia. Best wishes on the establishment of your new research center. May your forward-thinking nation see many achievements in its electrical infrastructure as you move ever further into a green future. Retired doctors and nurses in the United Kingdom answer government's call. More than 500 physicians and 4,000 nurses who were previously retired have agreed to return to work to help their fellow citizens overcome the COVID-19 virus pandemic. The National Health Service, or NHS, had requested urgent assistance to fill shortages in a letter sent to retired health care personnel from England and Wales. Among the thousands who responded, many within just 48 hours of the call, Member of Parliament the Honourable Maria Caulfield pledged to return to her previous profession of nursing alongside her political duties. The NHS also made an agreement with private hospitals to provide 20,000 hospital staff Staff, as well as 8,000 beds and intensive care facilities. With gratefulness to the NHS for taking action, we respectfully salute all the noble doctors and nurses for your selflessness and courage. We pray heavens to protect you and all professionals worldwide who are on the front lines during the pandemic. May God bless us all. Coming up, Study finds tofu consumption boosts heart health. We'll pause now to be grateful for our colleagues who share a common goal and inspire us to march forward. You're watching Noteworthy News on Supreme Master Television. For more details and free downloads, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash NWN and for full channel listings, suprememastertv.com forward slash worldwide. Welcome back to Noteworthy News, healthy news for a sustainable world. Research shows tofu reduces heart disease risk. Scientists from Harvard University in the United States have determined that eating tofu once a week can reduce the chance of heart disease by 18%, and eating it once a month decreases the risk by 12%. The researchers analyzed data from 200,000 people who took part in three studies with participants information kept current through dietary surveys held every several years. Commenting on the study, lead author Dr. Chi Sun stated, people with an elevated risk of developing heart disease should evaluate their diets. Tofu and other isoflavin-rich plant-based foods are excellent protein sources. 
The study was published in Circulation, the scientific journal of the American Heart Association. Many thanks, Dr. Chi Sun and co-researchers, for your important findings. In divine wisdom, may all people soon make health-protecting plant proteins a part of their daily diet as we change the world with our benevolent food choices. Taipei-based photographer promotes animal adoption through his camera lens. Former wedding studio photographer Yang Qingwei started running a studio for animal companions because of his love for animals, who he says are easier to work with than humans. His something studio in Taipei, Taiwan, also known as Formosa, has also been helping shelter residents increase their chances for adoption via his photographs. For the best results, Mr. Young spends time to make sure his subjects at the shelter feel safe with him before capturing their natural movements. He then uploads the pictures to his studio's Facebook page and other adoption-related online platforms. The caring photographer shared that despite the extra workload, he won't give up recalling the rewarding moment when one dog, who had been waiting at the shelter for a year, got adopted just four days after his photo was posted. Our applause and thankfulness, Yang Qingwei. May you long continue using your talents to help our adorable animal friends find forever loving homes in celestial delight. Please join us for an original joke by our beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai entitled, My House is Your House. Oh, welcome man, long time no see. Yeah, long time. Make yourself at home. Mi casa es su casa. My house is your house. My car is your car. My children are your children. My wife is... Oh, no, thanks. I'll just take the house. <laughs> and now we have a hard line from Maria in India. Dear Master, I am so thankful for all your teachings. I hear you talk about India and Indian gurus so often. I traveled to India and then knew I had a deep connection to India. While it did seem like the capital of spiritual enlightenment and energies, it also seemed like Western influence was changing the youth of India so much. The amount of non-vegetarian food and lack of vegan food was very shocking. Master, if it were ever your desire and God's will for you to do a tour or lecture in India, I would be so blessed to serve you by assisting in logistics and planning. I want the people of India to know their greatness again, and I struggle when I try to speak to them. You are the true master that could help spread veganism to India, as it is now one of the largest exporters of beef in the world. I love India, Master. Please call on me to assist you if you ever do a lecture there. I love you, Master. Thank you for everything. I wish one day I will be blessed enough to meet you, Master. Thank you for everything you do, including providing me with a vegan family from your blessings. Love, Maria from India. Dear Maria, Thank you for sharing your heartline. The vegan movement is accelerating exponentially and is conquering people's hearts all over the world, including India. Like a river, it branches out in many directions and is persistent. May God always be with you so you may keep your strong faith. And please help inform people about the plant-based lifestyle whenever possible. Supreme Master Ching Hai has a message for you. Considerate Maria, your love for India and its warm people shines brightly. They are forever in my heart. Veganism is the real hallmark of humanity, and one day soon, we will all adhere to it again. Also, please help to share Supreme Master TV wherever you can. We have many subtitles for all programs, including Hindi, God Loves You, and Majestic India. We welcome your heart lines and stories. Please send them via suprememastertv.com forward slash heartline. Pray for World Vegan. 
Please join Supreme Master Ching Hai to sincerely meditate and or pray for World Vegan every Sunday at 9 p.m. Hong Kong time. Make uh, an alarm wherever you are, whatever you do. Please stop for some moment to pray for World Vegan. With us, with me. It's been a pleasure to have your company on Noteworthy News. May faith, love, and wisdom guide your journey to the divine. We thank all the reporters, journalists, photographers, camera persons, individuals, groups, companies everywhere in the world for all your contributions of news that bring hope to humans and animals, thus uplifting the atmosphere of our planet. May heaven bless your noble endeavors and protect you always, especially while on challenging duty. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash NWN.